as we're scrambling to come up with a plan, we're making compromises that shouldn't be made. Jessica Barthel is a North Florida art teacher with serious reservations about what data will be made public during a school outbreak. If it happens to her district, she worries officials will hide behind privacy laws, keeping parents and faculty in the dark. The plans that we have are not concrete plans. They are not solid, cohesive feasible and they're not safe. We asked the Department of Education if there would be a statewide plan for outbreak reporting. In a statement, officials said they were giving general guidance to districts, but ultimately leaving it to them. Quote, each district knows the best ways to communicate with their education community, but anecdotally, we know many districts and schools have included that in their plans. Those plans are district reopen plans, and in one, we found this. It's a sample letter from the Florida Department of Health, what officials will send to parents if a child is exposed to a positive case. It reads the student needs to quarantine for 14 days and seek medical attention if symptoms develop. So with this, we know that parents should be notified directly, but what about the public as a whole? Florida Health has been apprehensive to give up data from the start. We've seen resistance on long-term care facilities, prisons, and infected medical personnel. Almost all have since been made public in daily state reports, but not without a fight. We've had to push Department of Health to release this information. Representative Anna Escamani is concerned it will be the same for public data on school outbreaks. A former health sector employee herself, she says state officials continue to overreach with privacy laws. We're not asking for individual medical information. We're asking for aggregate data, data that that can allow parents, teachers, and students to be informed. We asked Florida Health if they plan to publish school outbreak data. In response, they said it was still being discussed. Quote, the Department of Health is continuing to review and determine the most appropriate method for reporting outbreaks in schools. However, case and testing information related to schools will be incorporated into daily statewide and county statistics. The lingering questions offer little comfort to Barthel, who feels returning to school shouldn't be happening in the first place. This is a life and death issue. That's what it comes down to.